Okay, now let's go over displacement. Displacement is similar to bump, but it is not bump. It will actually, um, in a way, generate, uh, in a way, not exactly, it doesn't generate geometry, but it gen generates um, the effect of geometry where the geometry looks like it's actually displaced. So let's uh, use that there. And let's, uh, let's, let's get some noise this time. Okay, you see what happens. It actually looks like there's geometry being generated, but it doesn't affect your mesh. Oops. So if we render that, we can see there's some, some, looks like some bumping, bumping going on, but it's not a bump. And that's actually um, displacing geometry without actually moving your original mesh or geometry. So if we get something uh, a little bit finer there, notice it only works with the points that it has. If we actually um, add something a little bit more detailed, uh, I don't think a hyperner will help you. It will smooth it. Oh, nope. Okay, it does take the hypernerve in consideration, but well, that's good. <coughs> so you'll notice there's a whole lot of bumps there. Mm -hmm. We bump that up a little bit. To, we'll get bigger displacements. And see, it doesn't just give the illusion of bump, of some kind of displacement like the bump does. The bump is 2D. Around the edges, you don't have this literal bumping going on. So it's literally displacing the geometry. Mm. Which can definitely be useful. I guess upholstery um, can work out pretty good for this. You, or you could use upholstery for that. Um, so, and you can also, if you wanted to actually animate this here. Oops. See if I can get this right. There we go. <laughs> So you can actually have that moving. Hmm. I think I did some wrong. Oh yeah, we don't want no cycles, just uh, just speed. Hmm. So we can actually have that. We can actually have a, a blob that just kind of moves around hmm. in a bunch of different weird directions here and there. Is it changing? Doesn't seem like it's changing. Alright, well, you get the idea. <coughs> Displacement's kind of fun. I uh, haven't used it a lot, but it can definitely be useful. Now let's uh, go over diffusion here. Diffusion is, is kind of like a, a total total brightness control in a way, but you can also, uh, not a texture, so if we go to noise and that, so we have, let's get a color mm -hmm. what else does it affect? Luminance, reflection have a reflection, have luminance Again, this does nothing unless we uh, add that. There we go. Well, there we go. We get this uh, crazy texture here with tiles and. Actually, we could change the size of those tiles. Get a little, uh, a little bit more unique effect. There we go. Boy, does that look pretty nasty. <coughs> In the fusion here, we can turn. We affect everything here. So we actually get an effect there. If we actually clear this. It'll just affect everything. It's so it's kind. It kind of just works as a an absolute brightness control for all of those attributes. Add a texture, a gradient, uh, little gradient. So again, it's kind of like 
kind of in a way works as a brightness control around the whole object. So that's a uh, more or less diffusion there. Let's get that off and let's uh, let's go. Let's now talk about illumination first. I should actually get a uh, real texture here and just put my lamp texture on there and do not have any kind of mixing going on. Okay. <coughs> and this is actually is is green there just so you know <laughs> okay first if we zoom in we notice it's kind of blurry it's not sharp at all if if we're using this as a we actually had a, a plane or a polygon in there and wanted to use that as kind of a reference object we can delete uh, and delete these things here okay so here's our our polygon again we zoom in it's all blurry nasty we want to actually see that and use it as a planet we notice if we just render it there we go if we render it it looks nice and sharp okay we want to actually see that in real time we go to illumination oops okay go to illumination and you can also access it in here Go ahead and do it from here. Oh, notice you can also change the model. You can actually change the uh, type of texture this is under illumination. So kind of uh, the base model it it actually takes it takes on to generate the texture. You can change that. Here we go. Texture preview size. We bump that up to actual, the actual size it is. Notice now it's nice and sharp. If we render it. It looks a little bit better, of course, just because it renders. But uh, that's um, generally how it works. If we want to see something nice and sharp, or we can go back to the default, and then it's really blurry. This is mainly it'll bog you. It'll, if you have a lot of these, it'll bog your your viewport down. And notice also all these. These will determine what you can see as a preview. I get in more or less in the editor. The editor display combined combined in other words it'll display all of these in the editor of course uh, doesn't exactly display bumper alpha usually I don't think I know it, it does we've seen it do that and so if we actually go to elimination we deselect uh, that transparency alpha if we deselect that Well, supposedly, doesn't seem to be working that way. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I doesn't seem to be affecting anything in there. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. At least that's the way I re I recall it working. And this um, screen capture program is making things a little bit funny. But uh, b back on the UV tag, um, on actual assignment here. If we go to assignment, we see it actually um, tell us what what objects that our texture is applied to, and we can actually um, change that if we would like. If we make this edible, and maybe uh, use the knife tool on this a few times, we can actually restrict our texture to a certain selection. So if we go to selection and set selection, then we have a selection, and we can apply another texture to here, and we can have we can just drag and drop the selection right here, and it'll restrict it to just that one polygon that we selected, and set a selection for. So you can actually stack stack materials on different things here and there, but also notice that this ordering is important too, because if we have that up front, of the, right up right at the front here. And then it'll it'll just stack right over it, which may or may not be what you want. If we have that uh, earlier, we won't we won't have that problem. We won't see it. Mainly, it's the texture that needs to be in front. So if you if you if you don't want to see it, then make sure it's right there. <laughs> 